you caught us just after the main event's curtain call. But fear not, you didn't miss much. Unfortunately, this medieval reenactment promising bloody jousting and stirring music was a heartbreaking failure. And we aren't out of the woods just yet. Because after any major heart-wrenching event, say a myocardial infarction, various early and late complications can arise. Nevertheless, the show must go on. And no matter how badly a show goes, there's always one die-hard fan who wants an encore. This persistent kiddo hanging around the stage is the only person hoping to catch more bungled theatrics. Or maybe he just wants his money back. Either way, he's a timely reminder that during the first 24 hours following an MI, there are still lingering concerns for reperfusion injury, bleeding, and ongoing ischemia, which can lead to acute heart failure, symbolized by this floppy heart balloon, and cardiogenic shock, hence the lightning bolt on the pesky kid's shirt. Sorry, kid, but our knight in, uh, not-so-shining armor doesn't look too enthused right now. It's his fifth show of the day, and he's so beat and out of his normal rhythm, he's dropped everything, including this tattered ECG-patterned flag, our symbol for dysrhythmias. Dysrhythmias can occur within the first 24 hours of an MI and can lead to sudden death, which is why it's critical to continue monitoring your patient's heart rate. But fifth show or not, our star performer is still on the clock, at least according to this lowered heart watch, Sketchy's recurring symbol for bradycardia. Oh, how the hours of minimum wage showbiz tick by. So slowly. Like the slow heartbeat in sinus bradycardia, a common post-MI dysrhythmia that occurs from vascular insufficiency of the sinoatrial node. He better get up to speed, though. He's got to duke it out for three more shows. He could use some encouragement, but this is not the kind of show you wish someone to break a leg at. It's literally one of the hazards. This hard-embossed shield, our symbol for third-degree AV block, is way too flimsy to block sharp swords, let alone cannon fire. Complete AV block presents with cannon A waves, which occur with right atrial contraction against a closed tricuspid valve. This A-shaped cannon is a memorable, if not painful, reminder. Yeah, the one that's aimed directly at his face. Sure, they don't fire real cannonballs on stage, but it still hurts. Ego, if nothing else. Seems this attack dog is a little off-cue. Adding a bit of real drama to the stage, this VTAC dog is a reminder that VTAC and ventricular fibrillation are two of the most common dysrhythmias that can cause sudden death after an MI. 